Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with your girl. My name is India and I want to say hello to all my new and my old subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos and just being a supporter of my channel. If you are not subscribed, this is the time for you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Welcome to the family. Watch some more of my other videos. Get to know me and let me get to know you. Go ahead and leave a comment below as well. So today as the title you guys can see, I am doing kind of a like review. I'm going to do the good, bad, and ugly of these faux locks. I did install these faux locks on my own. I did them myself and I just want to give you guys kind of like my experience installing them. Also, I can tell you a little bit about the hair that I used. And I just want to give you guys, just as the title say, the good, bad, and ugly about these faux locks. I will go ahead and mention that this is not a tutorial video. Uh, if you're looking for a tutorial on how to install these faux locks using this method, no cornrow method, I got the I, the video that I watch was from Jazz Nicole. So she is a YouTuber here on YouTube. And that's where I got the idea to do it from. So if you guys want to see a tutorial, she has a bunch of tutorials on her channel. Again, her name is Jazz Nicole. Search it. You'll see it. And go check out for the tutorial. This is just more like a review on the hair that I use and my experience with and. Um, and installing the faux locks what I think and what I do it again okay so I'm gonna jump right into it first and foremost I'm gonna start off with the actual hair I did use the Bobby Boss Bumba Dreadlocks faux locks sole and it's the African Roots braid collection and it looks like this so this is what it looks like this is the packaging I did get a 1B um, I use 1B all over. I use five packs. I use five packs of hair. I use 1B. And these are 18 inches. So yes, they're 18 inches long. I have them up in a ponytail, but when I take them down, they are super, super, super long, y'all. Like They come all the way down to my butt, pretty much. So they're really long, so I pretty much probably will keep them up. Um, you can curl the ends with hot water and I do plan on I'm gonna wear it like this for a while and then um probably a couple of days probably a couple of, in a couple more days I'll go ahead and dip them in hot water um so I can get that curl effect and it does tell you how to do it at the bottom here so it shows you what to do you can use rods and dip it in the hot water you can also braid it and dip it in the hot water so you can have that wavy effect as well I paid $7.99 per pack again I bought five packs and they were $7.99 at my local beauty supply store and again um, and I can show you guys what it looks like without it being in my head they are pre looped so if you see here this is the actual faux lock and it's pre-looped at the top. So this is where your um, where you would put your crochet needle through the top to put it in your head. Um, I liked it because it was more natural looking than some of the other ones that I've seen. Some of the other ones were like really shiny. Um, and I didn't like that. I wanted it to look as natural as possible. And I think that these like match perfectly and they look more natural so I do I do like that the ends are not um, sealed or anything this is the end it's just a curl you can pull it but yeah it's a really sturdy lock and the good thing about this um, lock is that it's hollow so you can unravel it and that is pretty much the key to doing the Jazz Nicole method um, when installing your faux locks so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the good okay so the good thing about this is a great protective style like your hair is inside of the lock so what I did was wash deep condition my hair and then I parted my hair off and did um, braids so I braided the first part so that I can get it as close and as tight as possible to my scalp and then I twisted 
down to the ends so then once you finish braiding a twisted whichever you choose to do when you put your hair in the inside your hair is going to be protected by this actual lock so your hair is not um, out in the elements or rubbing on your clothes or anything like that so this number one off the jump is a great protective style number two um, it's gonna last for a while um it's gonna last long enough you know so i don't have to worry about getting up in the morning and doing hair i don't have to worry about blending you guys know previous to this i had a sew in and you know you have to blend and all that kind of stuff i don't have to worry about doing any of that so that's another plus about this thirdly this is something that you really can do on your own like it doesn't cost that much um, like I said, they were $7.99. Depending on how much hair you have and how thick your hair is, I have a lot of hair, so that's why I have five packs. I know some people um, use four packs, so you may be able to get away with four packs. I just have a lot of hair. So, yeah, again, you can do it on your own. If you know how to plait or twist your hair, you're good. You don't have to know how to corn roll, so that's another reason why this is a really good method. And it's another good style that you can do on your own. Save you some coins, girl. You ain't got to go get nobody to do it. You can do it yourself. All right, so those are a few good things about the hair, the method, and everything. Oh, one thing about the hair what, that I can say is I really do like how soft it is. The hair is really soft. It's not hard. It's not crunchy. It's not anything it's just it's really soft and it's really light i forgot to mention that the hair is not heavy at all i have five packs in my hair and it looks like a lot but it's not heavy at all like it just feels like regular something i don't know <laughs> regular hair is just on my head it's not heavy it's not extra heavy or anything of that nature okay so now let's talk about the um the bad okay not really bad i'm gonna put the bad and the ugly together so i told y'all the good stuff so now i'm gonna give y'all some bad and ugly okay so the first thing i will tell you is that it takes so much time to do this style now the one thing about crochet that's supposed to be good is that you know Usually when you do the corn rolls, you can just crochet the hair in and you can have you a quick style in a matter of maybe an hour or so, you know, braiding it down, putting the crochet hair in. It's quick, it's easy. This right here took me all night to complete, you guys, because you have to think about it. You have to braid your hair or twist your hair individually for each, um you know braid or for each lock that you want depending on how big or small you want them and that takes time and then you have to individually install each one so what really takes the most time is the braiding your hair individually it takes well it took me forever because I have a whole lot of hair so maybe if your hair is not as thick then it won't take you as long but if you have a whole lot of hair if you have a head full of hair then it's gonna take you a while so make sure that you have enough time put to the side like four plus hours <laughs> for you to do this style because again like I said you have to individually twist or braid your natural hair and then you have to install the crochet and wrap your hair around the crochet so that takes a lot of time you guys and yeah I was up all night doing this style the second thing that I know that I'm not going to like is the takedown. As I was putting these in, I wasn't really thinking about it yet. It took me a long time, whatever, whatever is in. But the bad thing about um, this style is it's going to take forever to take it down. It took forever to put it in. It's going to take forever to take it down because you're going to have to take each faux lock out one at a time and then you're gonna have to unravel your twist or unravel your braid for each individual braid so whenever i do decide to take this out it's gonna be another all-day process which i'm not looking forward to at all okay so yeah not looking forward to it at all um another thing it's not really bad or ugly it's just i had a issue with it um it was kind of hard finding this i didn't want to order it online because i didn't feel like waiting so i went to three different beauty supply stores and i could not 
find it. So you may have to order it online. So plan ahead if you are um, looking to do this style for yourself. Um, yeah, I had the hardest time finding this particular brand of faux locks. And this was the one that I really wanted to use. So like I said, you may have to plan ahead and order these online. And um, another thing, if you have long hair, because I have long hair, if you have long hair, this may not be for you either because you literally have to twist or braid all the way down so that your hair can go inside of the lock. Um, if you don't twist it or braid it all the way down, then your hair will kind of, let me see if I can find one. It will like come out of the faux lock. I can't find one right now because I tried my best to um, make sure they were all, <laughs> wait, I think that was one. No. I tried to make sure my best that my hair was all put away so I can't find one right now. Trust me, it's one that's out somewhere in the mix, but I just can't find it right now. Um, but yeah, so you, and you have to braid it all the way down or twist it all the way down. Cause if you don't, the hair that you leave out, you're going to have the hardest time trying to put it inside of the faux lock. Trust and believe. Now, so if you have short hair, like if you have short to medium hair length, then I think you'll be okay, especially if you have short hair. If you have short hair, then this is perfect for you because there's not a lot that you have to hide inside of the faux lock, so there's not a lot of unraveling that you'll be doing. So it'll be perfect for you. But yeah, you guys, other than that, that's what I have for the good, the bad, and the ugly on these faux locks. I can admit that I really do like them. Now that I have them in, it took me all night, but... <laughs> I really do like them. I think they're cute. Like I said, they're not heavy at all. And, um, you know, it just gives you something different. It's a great protective style. I did get these little hair jewelry from the beauty supply store as well. I got them in gold and I also got them in silver. And they were like 99 cents a pack. So yeah, y'all, that's all I have. I wanted to come in and show you guys this new style. Again, I won't be doing a tutorial on these. Um, if you guys want to see it, I might do um, a short video to show you how I dip the ends. If I'm going to curl them or try to do the goddess um, look with them. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments box. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you guys are interested in that as well. And that's all I have for you. If you guys have any questions, if I forgot to mention anything, or if you guys are interested in doing this or you're playing on doing this style for yourself and you just want to ask some questions about my experience that I, you know, something that I didn't go over in the video, go ahead and let me know in the comments box and I will be glad to answer as many as questions as many as questions that I can and yeah guys that's all so I hope you guys are having a happy and wonderful holiday season again I'm back I promise and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye